Hey guys, I'm Kitty, and I want to show you guys how I make the wire hangers on Etsy. I've made over 2,000 hangers now, um, and I want to share how to do it with you guys. I'm retiring my hangers, actually. Um, got to be a little too much work with school, but I want you guys to all be able to make them if you want. First, a little bit about what you'll need. Uh, wire. I get my wire at Lowe's because it's the cheapest, but most any hardware store will have it. It's a 14 gauge galvanized steel wire. Um, I'm sure that other people use other things, but this is great because it's malleable, but it'll still hold its shape really well. Um, it comes in 100 yard rolls. I think I get mine just a little under $8. Uh, a pair of pliers with the wire cutters in them. Um, I think I got these for five bucks at Lowe's. I had another pair and I wore them out. Um, wood hangers. And just recently I started using gloves because I got cuts and calluses. Um, I went through about a thousand hangers before I, oh, probably more, before I got gloves. These are two dollar gardening gloves at Lowe's. I've had them maybe four or five weeks and they're completely worn out. Um, I probably need new ones, but I don't want to go get any. <laughs> um, but those are optional. Uh, you get used to it. The first time I could only make a couple hangers in one sitting. Then I got to be making about 20, and now with gloves I can usually do 40. Um, but it's a lot of practice. First you put on your gloves. Um, I have a long name to do first. I'm actually doing orders right now. Um, this one is Mrs. Osmondson. Uh, oh, sometimes the wire gets all bunched in this roll, but I'll just undo it as I go. So, uh, measure out about a foot. Longer names you need less at the end, shorter you need more. Um, and you'll start to form the letters try and face this. There's really no trick. Um, pliers are good when you want a sharp bend and I use the edge of my finger to do the softer ones. So like the R use the pliers um, but then on the S I'll use my finger to make it a softer bend. But I mean this is just the way I make them. On Etsy, you see people making them all kinds of ways. You can make it loopy and anything you want. You'll start to learn um, how you want to do it and what works best for you. Surprisingly, this actually turns out a lot like my handwriting. And so I could see if people do hanger script like they write. I have terrible handwriting, so this is why it's pretty basic. I don't get too fancy. Um, so, Mrs. O.S. Um, there's no real trick to this. When you're done, you'll leave about a foot on the other side. I always go straight off my roll because I never know how much wire it's going to take for each hanger. Yes, it is easier if you have smaller pieces, but this way I'm not always wasting wire. So we've got OSMU. Wire's starting to get in a bunch. Normally it's best to get it all unrolled, but I don't really have the patience. So the O S M U N D So, O-S-M-U-N-D-S, -S let me ease a little crooked, there we go, E-N, I'll snip it off, 
Eh, about a foot. So apparently my camera turned off in the middle of that one. So I'll finish with another one that I just did the wire for. This one is Mrs. Jones. So I have Mrs. Jones and I bent it upwards. Grab your hanger. You'll kind of measure where you want. Uh, you'll start to learn how much to leave. I wrap it three to four times around the hanger um, just to make sure it's really going to stay. And you'll have an end. You'll end up either snipping it if you have extra and then you'll bend it under. I've gotten to the point where I can usually guess how much I need so I don't have to snip off very much. But that's why you need the extra amount. Um, like that one I'll have to snip off more. Anyway, so just bend it down because you don't want it snagging on a dress. Um, and then that's it. Make sure it looks okay. And this one is Mrs. Jones. So Mrs. Jones will be very happy with her hair. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to thank everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoy it, and feel free to ask questions if you have any. I'll do my best to answer. Um, kind of made this up as I went, so there's no real right way to do it, but thanks for watching.